Hi, and welcome to part two of this course. In this chapter, we're going to start working with the drums. This is my most common way to start a track, as the drums set the tone and character for the rest of the track. In previous courses, we have added drum samples and placed them one by one in the project window. This time, however, we're going to use a drum sampler. So, Studio One has its own drum sampler called Impact. So let's go to Browse, Instruments, and Impact. Each one of these cells can contain one drum sample, and then we can connect each cell to its own audio track so we can add effects like EQ, compression, and adjust volume. So let's start with the kick. We go to Files in the browser, Sonic Academy Sample Pack, and Kicks. So this kick has a bit of a click at the end of it. We can remove it simply by adjusting this triangle. You can see that it's gone. We're going to set every channel to the average signal of minus 15 dB to keep it consistent, easier to mix and make sure we have plenty of headroom. So let's draw out our kick pattern. Let's go to edit, and this is the drum editor. We can switch in between the drum editor and the traditional MIDI editor. I prefer to use the traditional MIDI editor, so that's what we're going to use for the rest of the track. Make sure the velocity is maximum. Now let's keep building the drum kit. I want some closed hi-hats. One more. Gain stage. We're also gonna use normalize. Normalize means that the sample has the maximum volume possible without any distortion or clipping happening. We can see that the first hat is on G sharp one and the second one is on E one. Press Ctrl D to copy paste. And if you're using Mac, it's Command D. Let's have a listen. And now for the open hi hat. C1. Let's add a ride hat.
And let's add a shaker. C3. Now we're going to offset the shaker hits to make sure all hi-hats does not clash by playing at the exact same time and this will also result in a better groove. And let's use the right hat as support when we copy to make sure that the offset is equal on all of the places. And now for some claps. I want to add two claps and layer them, so one of the claps is going to be responsible for the transients, the initial hit, the kind of click, and then the second clap should be responsible for the tail, you know, the long part of the clap. So let's make sure the claps clash as little as possible. Just near the first part of the clap. And now let's connect each drum sample to its own audio channel. First of all, I want the kick to be in mono, so let's find a mono channel for it. Mono 1. I want to reserve stereo 1 for the whole drum sampler, which is needed when we preview samples. Therefore, we will start assigning cells from stereo 2. Now let's close the edit and browse and let's open the mix console. We can see that the channels we activated have been added to the mix console from 1 to 8 as well as the mono channel. Let's rename the channels so we can keep it organized and easy to find. We will keep the numbers so we don't get lost. Let's change the color as well.
And now let's add some sidechain to the clothes hi-hats, the ride and the shaker to create more groove. And let's use kickstart, which is simple and easy to use. Now by just dragging this to another channel, it will automatically copy it with the same settings. If you hold shift, you can move. Now let's adjust the levels a bit. That's it for the first part of the drums. See you in the next part where we will do some EQ and add a couple of loops and more. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.